Hey, what's up, everybody? So I know it looks like I'm sitting in the dark. I mean, I, I kind of am, but I gotta get a light for back there because that one is not doing me justice. It doesn't even look like it's on. And I know you want to see my beautiful, messy room, but unfortunately today you can't. So anti-maskers, all right, we have to talk about them today because things are getting worse. And I gotta show you how mad these people get because they're getting madder and madder with each day. You know, the USA has been getting a little out of hand lately with the cases, and I don't know, it might be something to do with the biggest leader in the country. I mean, I have a mask right here. I put a mask on, you know, when I think I need it. Will you consider a national mandate that people need to wear masks? No, I want people to have a certain freedom, and I don't believe in that, no. I don't know, that might have an effect on the American people if they're stupid enough to listen to him. Well, that's quite controversial, Sam. Got some balls to say that. I guess I do have balls now. What are you gonna do about it, transphobes? I have them. Because our president wants to act like this, some of the citizens act like this. So I have two quick videos I wanna show you guys of these two women who are super anti-mask. And then I have a handful of TikToks because TikToks are always great of like freakouts, of public freakouts, of having to wear a mask. But these two videos, man, they, they are like so passionate about not wearing a mask. So let's start, we'll start easy with this one. Uh, I could say a lot about my time in Johnson County this summer not wearing a mask which is my choice as a free individual, but I'll boil it down to one point, which is discrimination. I am discriminated against every single day in my county now, sometimes multiple times a day. I'm told, stand back. Stand back. For, uh, for what? For being Caucasian? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're discriminated against? She, she wants to be a minority so bad. It is so hard to be an anti-masker. You know, try being something that isn't a choice and try to get your rights. It's, it's not nice. It's very hard, actually. So I'm treated, we are treated worse than second class citizens. We're treated like we're not even human, let alone someone's fellow American. <laughs> what? This is like, is she transgender? <laughs> this is a speech that I would say if I got up. Like, I'm not treated as human. If you read some of my comments, they are they are very bad. What could they possibly say about her? You're not wearing a mask. You're a bigot. Does that hurt your feelings? Oh no, you're so discriminated against. I'll just tell you an example. Yesterday, I went to mail package at my local FedEx Kinko's. Set the package down on the counter, politely asked for a scan and a receipt. Stand back. Get back. Right there. Move. Stand back. Move. Move back. Purple dot on the ground, stand on the purple dot. Okay, so I did. Scan the package and the receipt. Didn't put the receipt on the same counter that I put the package on, but put it over to the side. So I had to walk around the counter as to avoid him as he retreated from his register as I approached, like I'm some sort of diseased leper. Oh my god, guys, she had to walk around the fucking counter. Oh, that must be so hard. Like, getting an extra 30 steps in a day. Fuck, I understand. It must be so hard. And this is, this is our community now. This is the division that has been created by you guys allowing these mandates to continue. You would think that this is a speech about, like, racism. You know, you are dividing us more and more. This is becoming an issue. It's a mask. It is a mask. It is social distancing to prevent your spit and all the disgusting particles that come from your teeth and your mouth and your nose. All right, so she wasn't as bad as this next woman because the next woman makes herself really, really look stupid. Anyway, so in this next video, this woman is mad because she didn't wear a mask in a store and they were upset about it, so. I went to Natural Grocers this morning. They said, hey ma'am, do you have a mask? I said, no, it inhibits my health because the science is mixed, it can inhibit your health, and anxiety, if they prescribe a pill for it, it is a medical condition. I have anxiety, and I can wear a mask. I have the worst anxiety ever, and I can wear a mask, and I'm okay. It actually helps my anxiety, because people can't see half of my face. You know, just, I don't know, it helps me. I said it inhibits my health, he let me and my family shop in peace. Take off the mask, people. It inhibits your health. There are mixed studies, no t-shirt is gonna help me keep a virus. It's porous. It's got holes in it. This doesn't even make sense. That's because we are not using t-shirts as masks. <laughs> uh, we're using medical grade masks that are proven 
to help stop the spread of all the spit and the air and the breath that we're breathing right right yeah we're not we're not just walking in the store like this hey i would like to buy this stack of corn like it's not i don't they don't sell stack of corn that doesn't make any sense but you know what i'm saying people can buy cigarettes then i should be able to buy organic fruit without a mask without anyone saying anything to me about the flipping mask what that <laughs> that has nothing to do with the pandemic I don't, I don't, <laughs> if people are allowed to buy cigarettes, I should be able to buy organic fruit without a mask. An old lady walks by and ran her mouth. So I turned around and I let her know, you're entitled to your opinion, but I am too. You want to hear it? Here's my opinion about the mask. They're ineffective. They do not work. We're, we're being compliant. Well, your personal feelings and your snowflakey emotions are actually incorrect. They are effective to an extent. And the old woman was probably mad because she's an old woman. And, you know, she's more prone to get more sick because she's older. It only makes sense, right? Yeah, anyway, so then she goes on to talk about how she will only wear a mask for Jesus. I will not put on a mask for anyone but Jesus. Take off the mask, go shop, tell them it inhibits your health. So if Jesus could come down here and tell everybody to wear a mask, that would be fantastic. Thank you, Jesus. I will be waiting. Yeah, so aside from those two, we do have a lot of freakouts about wearing a mask. They're not the only ones. You have to keep it over your mouth and nose, please. Okay, well, my doctor said do not do that. Then we can have you in here. Okay, then that is discrimination. This is for the safety of all of our employees and customers. I'm sorry. You can't come in here anymore. I'm sorry about that. Good, because oh, I don't I'm... even fucking live here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bet she will rip her something new. Oh, yeah. Ooh, better watch out for fucking Susan. Uh, uh, sorry, Susans, if you're watching. I'm sorry. I just couldn't, I couldn't think of another name. I mean, she's going to be in here talking like that with these shoes on. Come on. Bring a better shoe game next time, and maybe you'll win. Nah, but I'm joking. I mean, this woman actually coughs on her. Like, is she a toddler? She's that mad over a mask. Mandated. What? Yeah, that's, not the people... that's not a law. That's not a law. Yeah, it is. They can get fined up to $10,000. No, they cannot. They cannot. Yes, that's they baloney. can. No, they cannot. Yes, they yeah, can. Yeah, okay, right. What about if the workers in there get corona and they can't work anymore? What about oh, their families? Oh, wow, yeah, get the flu. They're going to get the flu. What about their families? Look at this girl. Rate, honey. This dude's fucking menacing smile ah oh, dude I i'm sorry i'll continue like, it's it not about you it's not about you it is about me because it is my choice it is my body and i have exactly. every right to choose it's not it. about you what, what if someone else right dies you're making oh, you're really? making a decision for <laughs> someone <laughs> else's body you're Jeez. making a decision for Don't someone else no we're not. not that's selfish no, that's not. selfish look at it's this girl selfish. it's all triggered she's all triggered oh my gosh oh my goodness Really? Yeah. How old you are you? You guys are so immature. How, are, how old 18, are you? 18 and I'm more mature than you old. are. Yeah. You right. Oh, how sad. Oh my God, bro. Your stance, your outfit, your, uh, man. I love when people use the age factor to act like they're smarter than them because clearly this 18 year old is a lot smarter than this grown man and all these other grown people in the family. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this on here, but I'll go for it. If I could just give that, I just want to like, I just want to slap that man in the face. Just, just a quick little, just a quick little, just a little one, you know? I'm not that intimidating, so it's not that bad. Just a quick little one, all right? And it's just, it's nice that they have the kids around, you know, to show them this, to show them that it's okay and to harass somebody like this. It's a great example. It sets a very great example for those very young, impressionable children. So kudos to you. Kudos to you and your whole stupid family. Man. I have to wear a mask or I have to leave. Why is is that your store policy? Okay, so is that your store policy? Yes. You know you're licensed by the state of Ohio to service every customer that comes in this public. Uh, it's my business. If you don't want to leave, you want to create a disturbance, I will call the police. 
I'm so going to leave, today. but I will be reporting you to the right Secretary of State. Oh, you can go right ahead. And okay, that. you're welcome. Yes, I love this video because I think she knows she's wrong. Like after a certain amount of time, and she's like, "I'll call the Secretary of State." Like, what are they gonna do? Oh yeah, we're gonna back you up. You wouldn't let her in your establishment when this is your policy. When it's pretty much an, a nationwide policy to wear a mask in a store. Yeah, we're gonna actually shut down your store because of her. Why? Literally, why? I thought this was a joke. And then I looked in the comment section. I see the Republican hype house saying, as you should. Masks are recommended, not required. Like by creator. I'll ask again, why? Your video has almost 60,000 likes. Why? I think it's so quirky and cool to go out without a mask on. What's the point? To prove you're so brave and not scared of the virus. They think it's all about them and they think it's all their choice whether or not to wear a mask. But they're actually endangering other people who are more vulnerable to the virus. You're not proving anything. You're proving that you're an asshole. That you don't care about other people's health. Because it's not for you. It's for other people. You know, that's the first problem with this video. Why is her kid so I don't even know what that sound was. That was like a demon out of a movie. Why did that happen? I cannot believe that we are this. Honestly, I cannot believe that anybody is putting up with I this. Can't believe I cannot believe you are putting up with this. This is a virus with a 99.9% recovery. Nine, that's from CDC. Dude, why do these people exist? Like, why can't you go into your store and just shop? Why do you have to throw a fit? I've never understood that about people. The thing is, it doesn't even matter about the percentage of people who are recovering because people are still dying from it. To say something like that is like disregarding all the deaths from it. It doesn't matter if it's one person, if it's a hundred people, that is still somebody's life. Like they love to brag about statistics or whatever, but people are still getting sick and people are still dying from this. Were you in the store for an hour? You can't wear a mask for an hour? Facts over feelings. You want to talk about facts over feelings? Facts over your feelings. We surely did. Get out of my face. Bye. I'm so worried about your health. Why Bye. are you coming up on somebody who's not wearing a mask? Bye. You need to leave. You know what? More people were enslaved. You need to leave. In 2020, by themselves, because their television you need to told leave. them to, than were ever slaves in the 1800s. You know you why? Need to leave. Those people were enslaved physically, but their minds were free. What does slavery have to do with wearing a mask? This is how extreme these people think. They think them wearing a mask is as bad as slavery. Holy shit. Literally, what is wearing a mask a slave to? Being healthy? Caring about other people? Protecting yourself from a virus? What? <laughs> Enlighten me, Roger. Please. Please. Why is wearing a mask equal to slavery? I just needed to share this one because this would happen in a Dunkin Donuts. I can't think of any other place that it would happen besides here. <laughs> How are you supposed to order your coffee with a mask in your mouth like that? I like to order an iced tea coffee, you know? Brainwash. 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 You want to move back, move back. You need to not be there. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Back off. 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 Whatever. Okay. God bless America. There's no law that says wearing God bless America. Helps. Can you get away from me, please? Thank you. God get bless America. God bless America. Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Yeah. Uh, these people are a little bit, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I mean, God isn't blessing America right now with the pandemic, is he? I, I'm joking. I'm joking. All right. Don't. But, I mean, getting up in her face, what is that going to do? By the way, I don't know if you caught it. She actually hit the employee. She hit her. She slapped her. I don't know what is wrong with anti-maskers, but they all act the same, and it's very concerning. I don't know. That was like, I, I genuinely, that was fucking weird. And the last one is the best one, all right? Time to go shopping. I'm going to go to the stores. They're going to force me to wear a mask, and this is what they get. God bless you all in Trump 2020. This dude is just looking for an excuse to inhale as much taint sweat as he possibly can. <laughs> he, pro he probably 
<laughs> he probably walks into Walmart and he inhales that shit. Can you believe this? You know, if I walked into an establishment with a proper mask on and I saw this guy with his mask on, oh, I'd be so embarrassed. Oh yeah, I meant to mention, I have a podcast coming out in December, so if you want to subscribe to that channel, you can go click the link in the description. Yeah, so that was the last anti-masker video that I had for you guys today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, stay safe out there, it's getting worse. Wear a mask, stay safe, stay clean, social distance, do all that great stuff. So I'll see you guys in a few days with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.